The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. John Ferguson High takes on School for Advanced Studies tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. Now, with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now, as you see, the second round game matches School for Advanced Studies versus John A. Ferguson High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. And one more thing, before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the Chick-fil-A challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. <laughs> Exciting. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. Here at school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. So, hands on the buzzers, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with yards. From goal line to goal line, how long is a football field in yards? Kartik? 100. Very good. Next question deals with economics. You can buy it to cover the loss of your life. Identify this. Yes, George? Insurance. Very good. All right, Europe. Name this European nation bordered on the north by Slovenia, France, Austria, and Switzerland, whose southern area, Lucas? Italy. Uh, Italy. Very good. Next question deals with angles. What is the complement of a 16 degree angle? Yes, Kartik? 64. Incorrect, Lucas. 74. Very good. All right, college football. George O'Leary and Scott Frost both coached at this Orlando school. Name it, Lucas. Uh, UCF. Very good. Spelling. Defined as neither perpendicular nor parallel, spell oblique. Yes, Cardiff? O-B-L-I-Q-U-E. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties. Here, our contestants are given a clue about someone or something, and then they're shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. You have to get used to your second to highest note on its scale always being a half step flat. Yes, Abraham? Bagpipe? Yes, very good. And here's a little tidbit about a bagpipe. Although often thought of as only Scottish, bagpipes have been played for a millennium or more throughout large parts of Europe, Northern Africa, and Western Asia. All right, we're gonna move on to a question about birds. The African variety sounds like a donkey and has black feet. Name this flightless bird whose other, Cardiff? Ostrich. Incorrect, School for Advanced Studies. Name this flightless bird whose other species include the Humboldt and the Emperor. And yes, Christopher? Penguin. Very good. All right, a fast math question. What is the sum of the squares of five and seven? Yes, Cardiff? 74. Very good. Let's move on to oxygen. What adjective may indicate either exercise that is supposed to increase the body's use? Lucas? Aerobic. Very good. <laughs> Fighters. When he was killed, his British enemies gave him a full military funeral in honor of his 80 reported kills. Give the two-word nickname of this great German fighter pilot of, yes, Lucas? Uh, Red Baron. Very good. <laughs> All right, a question about sports. Born in Jamaica, some consider him the greatest sprinter of all times. Cardiff? Usain Bolt. Yes, that's who we're talking about. 
time measurement, what year is immediately after 1 BC? Cardi? 180. Yes, very good. Computing. Many computer networks use one of these devices to control a fax machine, printer, set of applications, or set of files so they can be easily accessed by each of the other devices in the system. Yes, Sebastian? Server? Yes, very good. Oh, there's our horn, and that means the end to the first strike round. We have a tie game. Both teams have 70 points. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended with a tie between our two schools. Ferguson has 70 and School for Advanced Studies has 70 as well. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. What's up? I'm Lucas, team captain for SAS. I'm a senior. Let's go White Tigers. Hi, I'm Abraham. I'm a senior. Let's go White Tigers. I'm Josh, I'm a senior at SAS, and I'm also the student advisor to the school board of Miami-Dade County, Florida. Let's go White Tigers. I'm Chris, I'm a junior, go White Tigers. Hi, I'm Brandon, I'm a senior, go White Tigers. Oh, he's, he's ready for anything. Heavyweight champion of the world. And then there's Josh, what's good? <laughs> and Chris is in there also, but he can't do this thing. Get this bread. Go, Go White Tigers! Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm team captain. I'm a junior. Pray never, Falcons forever. Hi, my name is Cardic. I'm a junior. Pray never, Falcons forever. Hi, I'm Eliazar. I'm a junior. And no goes too high where Falcons fly. Hi, I'm George. I'm a junior. Go Falcons. Hi, my name's Abel. I'm a junior. Go Falcons. Hey guys, man, it's the second round. Okay, you do it. I don't want to do it. Yeah, boy, second round. That's what I'm oh, God. Can you not see that we're trying to? <laughs> yes, I am proud of myself. Oh, okay. I am proud of myself. <laughs> 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 Brain ever, Falcons forever. Go Falcons! And let's hear it for both schools. Okay, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust, and it's presented by Public Supermarkets. Here a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. <laughs> Ashton and Lucas, come on down. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What non-metallic element is the base of organic chemistry? 
Yes, Sebastian? Carbon. Very good. Yeah. All right, Ferguson. I have more questions for you. The following bonus questions deal with non-metallic elements in the periodic table. Bonus question number one. This non-metallic element with symbol P glows in the dark. Yes, Eliazar? Phosphorus. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. This one is added to table salt to improve thyroid function. Yes, Eliazar? Uh, chlorine. Incorrect, it's iodine. Bonus question number three, a combustion reaction adds this element as a reactant. Name it. Kartik. Hydrogen. Incorrect, it's oxygen. Now we're gonna have Kartik and Abram, come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. This tissue in a plant's dermal system shares its name with the outer layer of human skin. Name it. Yes, Kartik. Epidermis. Very good. All right, Ferguson, the following bonus questions deal with biology. Bonus question number one. Most carbon stored above ground on land is in this biome with lots of trees. Sebastian. Jungle? No, I'm sorry, it's forest. All right, bonus question number two. What branch of biology studies organisms and their environments? Cardiac? Ecology. Very good. Bonus question number three, name the kingdom that contains amoeba and algae. Sebastian. Protests. Very good, excellent. All right, Eleazar and Josh, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question and it's worth 10 points. He was looking for a game that students could play during the winter. Name this sport invented by, yes, Josh? Basketball. Yes, very good. All right, let's go for advanced studies. Here we go. The following bonus questions all deal with basketball. Bonus question number one. A basketball team usually consists of a center, two guards, and two people in what other positions? Lucas? Forward. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. What ruling will be called by the official when two opposing players have the basketball firmly in their hands? Lucas? Jump ball. Yes, very good. Bonus question number three. If Johnny made four slam dunks, four three-pointers, and five free throws, how many points did he score? Josh. 25 points. Yes, very good. All right, our last two are George and Christopher. Come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Most transform from aquatic larvae to terrestrial adults. Name this class of animals that live, yes, Christopher. Amphibian. Very good, all right. We're back with School for Advanced Studies and the following bonus questions all deal with amphibians. Bonus question number one. What is the name for amphibians that somewhat resemble lizards? Christopher? Salamander. Yes, very good. Your second bonus question. Amphibians begin life breathing through what structures? Lucas? Gills. Yes, very good. And your third bonus question is, through what process does a tadpole grow long legs and webbed feet and lose its, its long tail? Abraham. Metamorphosis. Yes, very good. All right, there's our buzzer, and that means the end to the joust. Now we have School for Advanced Studies leading. They have 150 points. John Ferguson has 120 points. But don't go anywhere, because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. The 
but don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. The Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making the school duel possible. match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. Today's game has School for Advanced Studies competing against John A. Ferguson High. And during the break, our judges decided to give Ferguson High credit for their answer of jungle. Our current score is School for Advanced Studies, 150. Ferguson has 130. It is now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Since Ferguson is trailing, they do get to go first. And today's category is starts with I. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter I. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer them quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, Ferguson, here comes rapid action. Cue music and let's begin. Latin preposition meaning between. Sebastian. Ipsum. Name for the family of all-in-one Apple desktop computers. Sebastian. The eye lion. Farsi is spoken by nearly all citizens of this country. Sebastian. Iran. State whose north slash south panhandle reaches Canada. Sebastian. Indiana. Adjective often used to describe the Hulk. George. Incredible. Pancreas hormone that affects blood sugar. Kartik. Insulin. Three letter word for anger. Sebastian. Erk. Jakarta is the capital of what country? Eliazar. Indonesia. Sir Walter Scott romance novel about Cedric and Lady Rowena. Two word name for a Green Day album, song, and Broadway musical. All right, Ferguson, we got through all of your questions and good job. So let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. And now with a little TV magic, let's bring in School for Advanced Studies. Welcome back to School for Advanced Studies. Now it is your turn. Today's category is starts with I. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter I. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So, cue music and let's begin. Latin preposition meaning between. Lucas. Enter. Name for the family of all-in-one Apple desktop computers. Lucas. Max. Farsi is spoken by nearly all citizens of this country, Abraham. Iran. State whose north slash south panhandle reaches Canada. Lucas. Michigan. Adjective, often used to describe the Hulk. Abraham. Incredible. Pancreas hormone that affects blood sugar. Yes, Abraham. Insulin. Three letter word for anger. Lucas. Fire. Jakarta is the capital of what country? Yes, Lucas. Indonesia. Sir Walter romance novel about Cedric and Lady Rowena. 
and two word name for a Green Day album, song, and Broadway musical? Lucas. American Idiot. Okay, very good. Good job. School for Advanced Studies. And the question, that's right, round of applause. The two questions, the three questions that everyone missed is name for a family of all in one Apple desktop computers. They are iMacs. Then we have state whose north slash south panhandle reaches Canada. That's Idaho. And the last one is Sir Walter Scott romance novel about Cedric and Lady Rowena is Ivanhoe. All right, and that sound that you heard ends rapid action round. We do have School for Advanced Studies leading. They now have 220 points. Ferguson has 170 points, but don't go anywhere. We're just gonna take a short break and then we will be back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School Duel, and we've got a good game going as School for Advanced Studies is holding on to their lead over John Ferguson. The current score is 220 to 170. It is now time for the final showdown. This is our last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. And this is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. Here we go, first question deals with planets. Which planet is the third closest to the sun? Yes, Kardec? The Earth. Authors, name the 19th century American author who wrote Rip Van Winkle. Kardec? Mark Twain. Incorrect, School for Advanced Studies. Yes, Christopher? Edgar Allan Poe. Nope, it's Washington Irving. Napoleon. Beginning in 1807, the Peninsular War was fought between Napoleon's armies, Lucas? Spain. Laws. What law of motion is defined as, for every action, there is an equal? Yes, Sebastian? The first law of... Newton's first law? Incorrect. Christopher? Newton's third law. Yes. Movies. In The Sound of Music, how many children were in the Von Trapp family? Eleazar. Five. Incorrect. School. Josh? Four. Incorrect. It's seven. Sports. Available with different shaft lengths and angles. Name this specific golf club that is designed to roll a ball. Abram? Wedge. Incorrect. John Ferguson. It's designed to roll a ball on the green into the hole. Sebastian. Putter. U.S. government. Name this government agency charged with regulating radio, television, wire. Sebastian. The Federal, Federal Communications Commission. Broadway. What jukebox musical tells the story of the 60s rock and roll group, The Four Seasons? Lucas. The Four Tops. Incorrect. Ferguson. Eleazar. Grease. Incorrect. It's Jersey Boys. Britain. She became the first female chair of the British Conservative Party. Yes, George? Theresa May. Factors. What is the greatest common factor of 75 and 30? Lucas. 15. Prefixes. 
When used with the word meter, it can measure the wavelength of a microwave. When, Lucas? Nanometer. Incorrect, Ferguson. When used with the word gram, it can measure the amount of medicine in a single dose. Give this metric prefix, meaning 1,000. Sebastian. Milly. Spelling. A book of synonyms and antonyms. Spell Abram. T-H-E-S-A-R-U-S. Incorrect, Ferguson. Spell the word thesaurus. Cardiff. T-H-E-S-A-R-A-U-S. Incorrect. Correct spelling, T-H-E-S-A-U-R-U-S. -S. Fast capitals. What is the capital of Haiti? Lucas. Port-au-Prince. Experiments. What two-word term do you use for an experiment where neither scientists nor subjects know Abram? Double blind. Running. To the nearest mile, how many miles make up a 10K? Yes, Lucas. Six. France. She was executed for treason in 17... Eleazar? Um, Jean d'Arc. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies. She was executed for treason in 1793. Name this Queen of France and... Yes, Christopher? Marie Antoinette. Music. Called a black in French and Spanish, identify this type of musical note that is usually held for two counts in six-eighth time. Cardiff? Half note. Incorrect. Abraham? Quarter. Politics. This organization was formed in Wisconsin. Name this major U.S. political party. Yes, Josh? Republican Party. Act Scores are 400 to 270, 270, and School for Advanced Studies. This win puts you into the quarterfinals. So congratulations. <laughs> and of course, great job to everyone. Now this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge, and today's winner is, drum roll please, Lucas from School for Advanced Studies. Congratulations, Lucas, on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Of course, at this time, we'd like to thank you at home for watching, and we'd also like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, you can watch past shows, and even compete for prizes at home. And please remember to use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media, and most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel. Thursday at 8 p.m. as defending runner-up Suncoast High takes on Alexander Dreyfus School of the Arts in another great second round match. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>